Good morning. It's March the 23rd, 2018, and uh, hopefully I've uh, turned the corner last night or this morning. Uh, I'm still going to be on limited duty today. I'm trying to get a doctor's appointment this morning, but I think I'm starting to come out the other side of this deal. Man, wouldn't wish the flu on anybody. I never get sick um, until this last year. So. I haven't handled it very well. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. I think my bout with the flu started because I took those damn flu shots two years ago and I've been sick. I did get a little fever out of it, uh, but uh, I don't want to get pneumonia. That's why I'm going to go down and see a doctor today. Well, I hear what you're saying, Nancy, but for 40 years, I never took those damn things. And then when I started taking them, I've been catching more colds and stuff than I've ever had in my life. So, Okay, um, the treasuries are telling us that uh, the trade war is not that big a deal just yet. And Trump, when he announced the uh, $50 billion that was down from the original 60 billion against China. China retaliates with 3 billion. And I haven't seen which companies are affected, but that's uh, it's probably a ratio that we could live with. But China's got a very hard has a very hard time defending what they do with anybody. They just outright come into your country and steal what they want if it's uh, recorded digitally. So, uh, and uh, if you, if it's a tangible product and the rest of it, that, they will uh, come in and they'll cut, cut deals, but it's always in China's favor. They usually get a, a piece of the action. They're willing to sign long-term contracts. They're willing to help you develop your fields or your mines, but they get, they get a piece of the action, too. Um, for those of us in the European Union, the U.K., the United States, um, Singapore, it's the outright theft of uh, intellectual property that they do. And they do it very, very well. That's why all our fighters look like ours, with a few little minor modifications. Um, but it's so, I think, I think China's measured response right here, uh, they realize that Trump's got a pretty strong hand if he really wants to get after them. And I think what Trump is just saying to them, hey, come on, guys, let's, uh, let's get down here. Uh, you're a developed industrial nation now. You can compete uh, with the rest of us. You don't need the help that you've gotten in the past. You should, certainly don't need to steal from us. So I would think this response from China uh, kind of mitigates the fears. Now, that didn't stop. Asian markets were off 10 th collectively 10.35% last night. And 3.83 uh, in the EU. So we'll see. I imagine equities are going to try to sell this morning, but if they don't, then end of the week profit taking will be the dynamic that I think drives it. So, and treasuries are telling us that might happen sooner in the day session. Um, and. Uh, God, Nancy, <laughs> paint me a different picture, okay? Don't plant those seeds. I'm, I want to stay in a state of denial. Uh, so anyway, treasuries are selling right now. So we uh, today we have durable orders. Nancy takes care of me, but Nancy, you got to put your pat me on the head and tell me I'm going to be okay. That's all I want out of this deal. Plus 
six tenths of a percent X transportation plus seven tenths of core capital goods. The market's focus will be right here. New home sales at 620k. That one could could actually come in higher than forecast. And then Baker Hughes rig count at 1209 and 990. Uh, the price of crude oil where it is right now, I would imagine in the U.S. rig count could go up. Th this is. Big, 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 big. I mean, this this is the type of business that the banks, everybody loves. When you talk about, got to put together a hundred million dollar package to go out and drill this plot, and we're going to have 19 wells off of it, or whatever it happens to be. That's something that they can get into. And um, so we got a 19 to 23 cell, and then 27 to 31. And on the buy side, 13 or 17. I'm going to go for a little lower. We're going to go for 9s to 13s. Nancy, all I could do was get over to the couch and go prone. And um, nothing personal. Okay. Um, 17, I'm going to put a question mark by 17. We'll just have to see what we get. As you can see, I'm moving kind of. I'm not playing with a full deck. Um, I'm fuzzy at the edges, and so moving, not quite like a sloth, but I'm getting there. And you have to know your own limitations in this game. So 20 to 24. So today. I'm not. I'm not in a mental frame of mind to actually trade. A lot of stuff is not clicking. 16 to 12, number one. 5 to 9 by 1. 29 to 01 by 2. Looking at gold, my gold has been strong. 1350 is where we're headed. I don't know why, but we're headed there. Okay, the low volume number is right there at 4640. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time up here. Let's go to Okay, I got a little bulge at say 42 right there. 48, get 
51. So 48 to 51 is probably the next resistance. So we're we're at resistance right now. So top of value 42 to 44 sell one. 48 to 50 sell two. On the buy side, um, 36, 38, buy one. 30, 32, buy two. Okay, the euro is still showing strength, so 24.50 is where resistance is, so I'm like 50 to 60, sell 1, 75 to 85, sell 2. On the buy side, uh, bottom of value is at uh, basically the buck. So maybe 24 even, 24.10 by 1, and 75 to 85 by 2. Uh, pretty good selling above 65.50. Breakout came down here and was retested at 64. So I think we're trying to trade lower right here. So how about 64, 64 and a quarter by one. Fundamentals aren't good, but the market's ignoring the uh, weak fundamentals. So when bad news doesn't break a market, people buy it. And 6250, 6375, but not least, the E-mini. Um, I think there's probably one cell left in the E-mini, but, you know, the uh, China's response to the tariff deal wasn't, I mean, $3 billion out of, I don't know what our actual trade deficit with them is. You read 350 to $500 billion, so it's up there, so it's not a, not a huge uh, response by China. So I think the market will probably discount round one and I've already blown through all my resistance points that we started out with this morning so we need to redo those so um, a 
We'll have 49 to 54, sell one. 59 to 64, sell two. Really uh, leaning a little bit, I'm leaning a little bit more long. I can get short up here in this 50 to 55 area. But uh, I think China's response was rather benign. Didn't, didn't do much. So I, don't, it don't, I can't read that as a trade war has kicked off and started. Not a lot of bluster out of the Chinese press either. It's just like, well, okay. We're going to re retaliate. And they did, but not but not by much. Um, 36 to 41, buy one. 26 to 31, buy two. The numbers of FES forecasts are supportive, durable orders. Plus 1.7. X transportation plus 0.6. Core capital goods plus 0.7. New home sales 620. So if those numbers come in as uh, forecast, should be supportive for the uh, indexes. Okay, I only have one thing written up. I gotta get busy on that. I'm do that. Be back with us as soon as possible. But I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of downtime today. I just right now I'm I'm floating, so don't like the way I feel. Okay, back in a bit.